Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hello. Good evening. How Good are evening. you? Uh, thank you for being here. I'm sorry that I'm a little bit uh, late. Not too much, right? Yeah. Thank you very much. How are you today? Good, thank you. Good, excellent, excellent. Better than yesterday and better than tomorrow? Really much better. Ah, uh, okay, uh, much better. Okay, guys, so uh, just let me uh, change over here a little bit, the date. Uh, and let me, uh, oops. Okay, so we are fixing, we're getting uh, the recording is on. Um, the, uh, the, let, me, let me find out a worksheet that I did for you that you can uh, download it. Uh, let me send it to you. Uh, worksheet, uh, let me. Uh, cha, 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 cha. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are you? So great. Thank you. And you? Uh, good. Doing good. Thanks. Thanks, God. Let me look for a, a worksheet that I that I prepare for you and send it back and we can start it. Uh, there is a worksheet that I did for you. There are some exercises that are the same over there, especially the grammar. So download it and uh, it, it's, it's in Word that you can work on it. Okay, guys, are you ready? Okay, good. Uh, let me just see if I, if you are able to listen to the audios today that I imagine, yes, because I did something. Oh my God. Se trabó esta cosa. Eso sí no me gusta. Eh, give me a second with the presentation. Mm. Vamos a dar cerrar el programa. Uh, were you able to download the worksheet? Yes. Okay. Okay. I hope that this is work.
Do you have any questions for uh, relative pronouns? Guys? Do you have any questions for relative pronouns? Do you have any questions? No? Okay, so yesterday we were discussing about what? Please remember, I will ask you to uh, sit in a, in a place where you can take notes. Okay, something is very important. Es muy importante tomar notas eh, eh, y pues trabajar en los ejercicios. Eh, eh, if you need to take notes in a notebook or something, sit on a place where you can do it, please, because it's really important that. Okay, let me see if uh, you are able to listen to the audio. Uh, were you able to listen to the audio, guys? No. No. No? No. Oh, okay. Let me, entonces hay que hacerlo cada vez que va a comp que abro aquí. Sí. Eyes who? Part A. Listen and practice. Correct? Do you have a date for your friend's wedding yet? Actually, no. I... Are you are you able to listen to? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you very thank you very much. So in that case, I need to open it. Okay. Um, we're going to see the topic that we see yesterday, but in a brief way. Okay. So, uh, because yesterday we were not able to listen to this. So, what do you see on the picture over there? You already said. Mention two or three things about. What's happening? What's wrong? They are talking. They are talking. Okay. What do you think the topic is? They are talking about the relationship. About the relationship. Remember that we were talking about things uh, that people look, uh, we, well, woman, women or men look uh, women look for a, a boy and a boy for a woman. So we are talking about a relationship, maybe. Okay. So, and uh, and what what else can you say about it? And where are they, Rebecca? They are friends, and uh, they are talking about. Uh, what kind of things we would uh, look in a person? Okay, good. Thank you, Ada. You say something. You say something. Yes. Um. I think that uh, Chris uh, wants to to meet the um, Bran Branson mm -hmm. to to kin. Okay. Because, uh, he thinks that. Branson are a good, good guy to, to Kim. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, so let's see what uh, you already say. You already say, remember that it's important to talk um, in an in a oral way or in a, through the chat because that's the way that we are producing the language right now. Okay, um, so let's see. Now that you are able to listen to the audio, please follow the conversation. Unit 1. That's what friends are for. Page 2, Exercise 2, Conversation. I like guys who... Part A. Listen and practice. Do you have a date for your friend's wedding yet? Actually, no, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Hmm. What kind of guys do you like? Oh, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone like you. Okay. Uh, what else? Well, I'd prefer someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the guy for you. Bob Branson. Do you know him? 
No, I don't think so. Okay, I'll ask him to meet us for coffee, and you can tell me what you think. Okay, let me play it once again. Unit 1. That's what friends are for. Page 2, Exercise 2, Conversation. I like guys who... Part A. Listen and practice. Do you have a date for your friend's wedding yet? Actually, no, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Hmm. What kind of guys do you like? Oh, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone like you. Okay. Uh, what else? Well, I'd prefer someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the guy for you. Bob Branson. Do you know him? No, I don't think so. Okay. I'll ask him to meet us for coffee, and you can tell me what you think. Are you ready to use the chat? What is the topic discussion about? Please write it on the chat. What is the topic discussion about? Okay, and reading. Okay, the type the person she likes. Oh. Mm-hmm. Keep writing, please. Ask her can you uh-huh. Good. If you are able to see the chat, you see that you're saying using the different words or in different order, but at the end you're saying the same thing. The connotation is the same one. Okay, uh, Kim, what type, what kind of guys does she like? Please write it over there. And then I will ask for a few participations. Mm-hmm. And what type of guys does she like? Excuse me, uh, you asked me something. Yes, Rebecca? You asked me something. Excuse me. I no. Don't I cannot understand. Mm -hmm. Can could you write Rebecca what you uh, were asking me uh, just right now? Okay, another question. And what does Chris suggest? Ah, good sense of humor. Yes. Uh huh. And who does Chris suggest? Uh-huh, and she likes guys who are into cereal. Okay, very good, excellent. A uh, few notes, but I, I, I was able to read it. And uh, Chris is just Bob Brasson. Yes. And uh, good evening. I'll be listening on the way home. Ah, you're coming home. Okay. Um, uh, have a nice trip then. Uh, we'll, we'll see you in a minute. Okay. So uh, he suggested Bob Branson. And let's see what do they, uh, they think about uh, this guy. 
Page 2, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to Chris and Kim discuss Bob after they met for coffee. How did Kim like him? So, what's the verdict? What did you think of Bob? Well, I was worried at first, especially when I saw that he rode a huge motorcycle. I thought he might be one of those guys who is into heavy metal music and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But he's just a regular kind of guy, right? Yeah, we got along really well. I knew you'd like him. Yeah, I do. And he's really funny. He had me laughing so hard at the coffee shop, remember? I think the people sitting next to us thought we were crazy. So, are you two going to get together again? Definitely. In fact, we're going to the wedding together. That's great. Okay, and what does she think about uh, Bob Branson? Write it down, please. Uh huh. She talk about it very fresh. She like in uh, Spanish. Okay, good guys. So, uh, who wants to participate? What does she think about uh Bob Branson and why? Uh, someone else, someone who wants to participate, open the microphone, the mic. Uh, see. Ah, she like it very much. Yes. Why does she like him? Is Aura? Good evening. How are you? Why does uh, uh, Kim like uh, Bob? Uh, maybe you're not a, a Luis Fernando? Oh, uh, because he's funny. Okay. Uh, <laughs> because he made her laugh a lot. Uh, he drove a motorcycle. Okay. Maybe. Okay, at the party. Okay. If you notice over here, uh, we already saw that, so we're not going to stop too much on that one. It, it, yesterday we were working with a relative pronouns and relative pronouns are what are the relative pronouns that we were studying yesterday guys who and that who, who and that who and that in a brief way remember that relative pronouns are used in order to join two sentences okay on the, on the relative clause, we do not need a subject because who or that, it will become the subject. It's like per se. Um, Richard, what? Yes? May, may you repeat the, the, the again? Uh, the, ah, the relative pronouns? Yeah, yeah. Please. Okay. The relative pronouns join two sentences with different meanings. As for example, we say, we say, Brad Pitt is an actor. He has made many action movies. Okay. So, and then, and instead of uh, Brad Pitt is an actor, he has made oh, many good action movies. And using who or that, we say, we will say, Brad Pitt is an actor who has made many good action movies. Okay. Uh-huh. And that's that's the idea. That's the idea over there. For example, King likes the guys who are serious or that are serious. King likes guys who have a good sense of humor. Okay. Um 
quem uh, likes guys who are sensitive, okay? So that's that's the way that we, like we that. use it over there. We can use that or we can use who, okay? So we will stay here, look over there. Let, let's listen. Page three, exercise three, grammar focus. Relative pronouns as the subject of a clause. I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys that aren't too serious. I like guys who have a good sense of humor. I like guys that have a good sense of humor. As the object of a clause. I'd prefer someone I have fun with. I'd prefer someone who I have fun with. I'd prefer someone that I have fun with. I'd prefer someone I can talk to easily. I'd prefer someone who I can talk to easily. I'd prefer someone that I can talk to easily. Okay, that's what I, wa I was saying, I was mentioning. Uh, and the first sentence, we have two sentences. I like guys, period. They aren't too serious. But how can I uh, modify that? And I will be saying the same thing without, uh, I mean, with who or that. I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys, period. They have a good sense of humor. So two statements. Join one sentence, one only idea. I like guys that have a good sense of humor. And relative pronouns are subjects. Let me go to this one that I... That I uh, one of the important things, guys, is that uh, uh, we use uh, relative pronouns are used to... I miss an ad over there. Join two sentences, but the, uh, with the same person or things. For example, and then we say, for example, and then we say. So that's that's the thing over there. So I have a relative pronoun as subjects. There is a good explanation of it. So as object, he is the teacher who speaks three languages. Who is the teacher? He is the teacher that speaks three languages. I don't know if I put it that on the worksheet. So then we have the subject, who or that, the verb speaks, and the object. What is the object? The languages. So that's one example over there. I could say he is the teacher. He speaks three languages. But instead of saying he speaks three languages, I would use who or that. He is the teacher who speaks three languages. Relative pronouns at object. Look over there. If you notice on the first on the first example that you have on the book over there. When I use, when I talk about I, I use the subject pronoun, we do not omit it. We omit he, the subject pronoun, he, she, they, uh, but no I. Let me go first over there. So for example, he is the teacher who I met. He is the teacher that I met. So who is the object in this case is not the, the subject. On the first one, it was the subject. Now it is the object. And what is the subject? I, I'm sorry. It's a little move the, the, the line over there. It's I. So that's the, the way that we form. Every time that you see uh, the subject pronoun I, we do not omit it. We just say who I met, okay? Uh, Julia Roberts is an actress who I saw. I use verb two. 
uh, let's say uh, what? Uh, Julia Roberts is an actress who that I had dinner with. It's an example, eh? If you want to take notes of this one before we do the 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 task that you have over there. Hey, don't worry, we're going to finish with the, the thing that we had to finish today. Uh, can I continue? Can we continue, guys? Yes, okay. If it's not, please, it's important that you uh, that you give, be sure how to use this one. If you don't understand something, don't be afraid to ask me. Okay. There is an answer. This is exercises in your. Um, I'm sorry. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Um. In this case, we we can use who or maybe that in in any moment. I don't know. You, yes, it's necessary to to wait. I, I don't know. Um, no, in this case, you use uh, who or that. It's not a problem at all. The only thing as a general information, um, let me tell you that that it can be used with people or with things. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh, but in this, but in this case, the the form is using only for people. So people I can say who and mm, when they, when mm, we talk about uh, animals or maybe things. Uh, yes. That. that. Oh, okay. But. There is a, there are three relative pronouns which are the most common for it is who, which, and that. Who uh, is used only for people. That is only uh, is used for people or things or animal or places, and which only for things or animals. But in this okay. case, but in this case, it doesn't matter if I say, for example, I can say Star Wars. I mean, uh, uh, Avatar is a movie that has many, um, many, uh, uh, how do you call it? Nursing. Uh, si <laughs> yes, uh, uh, if, um, uh, affections, affections, I forgot ah, the word. Affections. Uh, no. Mm, um, okay. Special no, effects. Uh -huh. e special effects. Thank you very okay. much. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not a problem. You say Mr. Lopez is a teacher who teaches uh, me now, okay? Or Mr. Lopez is a teacher that teaches English to us now. So it's as well. Okay, this exercise you have it in your manual, but I type it. So uh, let's uh, oops, uh, match the part of the sentences, please. Number one, I don't, I don't want to have a partner. What is number two? Someone help me read him, please. I'd like to meet people. Okay, thank you, Luis. Uh, someone else? I prefer a uh, roommate. A roommate. I, I prefer mm -hmm. a roommate. I, I, oh, mm -hmm. I would like a roommate, yes. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Someone else? Uh, I don't like to be with people. 
I don't like to be with people. Okay, thank you very much. Someone else? I want to discuss my problem with friends. With friends. Thank you very much. Uh, and someone else? I rather have a bus. I rather have a bus. Yes. Someone else? Thank you. I prefer to have a teacher. Uh huh. Uh, to have teachers. I prefer to have teachers. I don't know if I made a mistake over there. So, part B is people who are organized and intelligent. This person has a good letter, uh, leadership qualities. Someone help me reading this one, literal C. These people had a good sense of humor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, someone else? I have nothing in common with this person. Good, thank you. Someone else who haven't particip hasn't participated? This, these people are war and sensitive. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the meaning of war in this case? Um, kind, sweet. Sweet, yes, that will be the, the thing. They were good, thank you. You know, I'm evaluating you, but good. I'm with a good group. Okay, and the other one? I don't feel comfortable around, around these people. These people, yes, maybe. And the last one. This person is quiet and considerate. And considerate. Okay. I don't want to have a partner. Is uh, The other one is I have nothing in common with this person. Okay. Match the other, you have like three minutes, three minutes, three, uh, three minutes. Can we check? Okay, I like to meet people. What it will be the next part? Uh, don't worry. Uh, let me tell you that not to worry if we make a mistake when we talk, when we write, or we do uh, give an answer. Okay. Uh, the idea is uh, some of the sentences have maybe more than one possibility. So I like to meet people, so don't be afraid about it. Any suggestions? I like to meet people who has a good uh, sense of humor. Ah, you were doing it the, the sentence, all right. Good, excellent. Okay, let's see. Uh-huh, see. Oh, I got a good sense of humor, yes. You already did the sentence, good. That told me that uh, you understand really well. I prefer a roommate. What is a roommate? Is the person that um, shared a room with you? Yes, it's a person who lives with me or share a room, exactly. Um, uh, I prefer a roommate. I prefer to meet people who have a good leadership quality. Uh, yeah, this person quiet and considerate. Yeah, 
But uh, you uh, remember that uh, there yeah. may be sometimes there are more than one possibility. And I don't like the to be with. What is the meaning for roommate? Uh, someone who lives with uh, in, in the same room or apartment or house as I live, or someone who lives with me. Especially uh, people who are not married, single girls or boys live with a roommate. Especially ah, la, la my couple, la my friend. Yeah, oh. if, especially if they are studying at the university. In another room. Mm -hmm. They live, they always have a roommate. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't like to be with people. I don't feel comfortable around people. Uh, Possibility. Later yes. 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 Uh huh. And I can say I don't like to live with people who who are what are sensitive. No, 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 not a letter A. The the answer was okay, but uh, how will I say using a, a relative pronoun with this one? I don't like to live with people who who uh have. -huh. Mm, remember what I just said. Uh, I want to solve my problem with who's people. Too that are who's, who's too serious? Who's too serious? Uh -huh. Well, that's letter A. Or... Remember that every time that we have the subject pronoun okay. I, we do not omit it. I so the I want to live okay. with. I don't like to be with to live with people. I, the, I'm sorry, I don't like to be with people who I don't feel well, I don't comfortable feel with. Exactly. Remember, we only omit a subject pronouns they, uh, he, she. Okay, but every time that I have done. And I don't want to discuss my problem with my friends. Let's do this quickly, guys, because time is running. Okay. E. Uh -huh, letter E, exactly. So I want to discuss my problem with my friends. Who are unsensitive. Uh -huh, exactly. Who are one unsensitive. I rather have, I remember that this, uh, this contraction over here is I would. Okay, I would rather. So I rather have a boss. Mm -hmm. Has good leadership qualities. Yes. And the last one. And, and what will be the sentence over there using who or that? I'd rather to have teachers that are organized. And uh, okay. Good. Excellent. And the last one. I I prefer to have. I, I prefer to have teachers that are organized and everything. So that's that's the thing. And I don't want to have a partner who I remember, subject pronoun is not removed. When it's I, we always use it. I don't want to have a partner who I have nothing in common with. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. And when you are writing or talking about relative pronouns and after that you have to to use just he she it i or it no no we we don't have to use it we omit it we use uh when uh, he she it or um they we omit okay. the subject pronoun even here so, for example, uh, say letter C. Okay, I don't like to I don't like to meet people who have uh, it's letter C. Yeah, I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. So we omit, we erase these people and use only birds. Es, okay. es set when it's okay. solo el pronombre personal, I. And then I don't, oh. I don't erase it. I take it out. 
Okay, uh -huh. but, but if anything you have, uh, so definitions, um, we are going to do this together. It's a new worksheet over there. Um, um, uh, please, if you have a question about relative pronouns or any topic the day after the class, feel free to ask, please, okay? Because we don't want to go uh, with certain doubts. Okay, social or intolerance, we are uh, here, uh, positive or negative. Uh, we're going to do this together because it's uh, around 15 minutes and we need to see the other uh, that is important. So sociable, intolerant. What is number three? Modest. Modest. Number four? Temperamental. Temperamental. Uh -huh. Number five? Yeah, that are you like, like, like this. I'm Mr. Lopez and I teach English. So that, <laughs> <laughs> easy going. <laughs> Number six. Easy going. Easy going. Uh -huh, easy going. You understand the meaning? Well, you will understand it over there because it says stingy, like this, and unreliable and supportive. What is this? A person who won't accept other people's different. Um. Take a wild guess. A wild guess. Intolerant. Number two. Intolerant. Number two. Okay, let's say intolerant. Okay. Uh, someone help me reading this one, please. Someone who doesn't like giving things to people in general. Uh huh. Someone help me reading this one. Someone who expressed a very high opinion of him or himself. Okay, good. Someone else? Someone who is helpful and encouraging. Okay, someone who is helpful. Okay, vamos a hacer esto uh, kind of quickly because it's... Uh, okay, you say... Uh, I don't remember what it says. Uh, sociable. Ah, no. Uh, number two, you say uh, sociable is... Who is a person? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Someone with person very high to see you. Uh huh. Person who enjoys being with other people. Yes. Okay. These are kind of the definitions. Okay. Uh, intolerant. Uh, you said that it was uh, ah. And I say yes. And what about mothers? Neither see someone who expressed a very high opinion of him. Ah, uh, mothers, okay. Okay, we we'll say someone who doesn't brag about him or her, her accomplishment. Oh, that's the one that I was saying. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, sorry uh, if you just write the ideas over there that you can check it out because we need to finish today with uh, uh, another clause, which is when, okay? So stingy. Uh, someone who doesn't like giving things to people and generous <laughs> and reliable. That's a negative. A, a person who doesn't do what? Oops, he or she promised. There is not an R, it's a T. And supportive, of course. Someone who is helpful and encouraging. Okay, we're in jumping this one because it's, uh, uh, I want to get to this one, okay? So see clauses with it and clauses with when in context. Look at the picture over here. Let's listen and read. Page five, exercise eight, perspectives. Quiz. Part A. Listen to some common complaints. 
Check the ones you agree with. Do you get annoyed easily? I can't stand it when a child screams in a restaurant. I don't like it when a cell phone rings in the classroom. It bothers me when a teacher forgets my name. I hate it when people talk with their mouths full. It upsets me when a close friend forgets my birthday. I can't stand it when people talk loudly to each other during a movie. I don't like it when people call me early in the morning. It bothers me when my doctor arrives late for an appointment. Score. If you checked one okay. to two complaints. Okay, these are examples. What are we studying over there? What is the main point of this one? It says on the learning objective. Uh, I think that, uh, think that that people disagree. Yes. Okay. There are some less. And what is annoying? Angry. Angry. Get angry. Upset for something or someone. That's happened. Yes. You get upset. You. Uh, P S E T. Uh huh. You get upset. Okay, but the main point over here, this presents the subject pronoun it and the close when. Okay, because of the time. So we are see. Read the first sentence. Someone who um, can read the first sentence, please. I don't like it when a cell phone rings in the classroom. Yeah, I don't like it when a cell phone rings in the classroom. But we can use another way, the second line. Someone can read it? It bothers me when a teacher forgets my name. Okay. What if this means? Let's go over there. Uh, I had these questions, but unfortunately, but you're doing great, guys. So look over here. Let's listen and read, and then I explain. Page six, exercise 10, grammar focus. It clauses plus adverbial clauses with when. I like it when a teacher is helpful and supportive. I don't mind it when a friend visits without calling me first. I can't stand it when a child screams in a restaurant. It makes me happy when people do nice things for no reason. It bothers me when my doctor arrives late for an appointment. It upsets me when a close friend forgets my birthday. Okay, look over there. I don't mind it when people talk loudly during a movie. I go to the movies, people are chatting, people are talking. I don't mind it. I don't care about it. Okay, but I notice it in this case. So let me explain over here. I guess I did something. I don't mind it. I don't like it. I can't stand it. These are complaints or uh, saying something. But I, I can use another way. It bothers me. It's upset me. So <clears throat> why do I say bothers and no bother without the S? What is the reason? Because I I use the, the third person. Yes, I'm using the third person. I'm using the subject pronoun, it. And remember that it's a short sound. It's not a long sound. People usually make long sound, and it's like, uh, to me, it's like this one. So we say it, it, it. Okay, no, it. Okay, so you say it bothers me. It assesses me. Uh-huh, I don't mind it. 
when someone talks in a meeting. I don't like it when a child won't listen. If you notice, when we use when, we always, on the second sentence, we always have a subject pronoun. Someone, a child, fool, uh, a friend. So, and when someone. So on after, after when, we always have a subject pronoun. I don't mind it when someone talks in a meeting. I don't like it when a child won't listen. I can't stand when food is served cold at a restaurant. Or I can say it bothers me when a friend tells me a lie. I can use also it bothers me when, I mean, uh, these are negatives. It upset me. Yes. It, it's upset me when someone told the truth. Let me see if I put it over there. What is the grammar structure? Can someone tell me the grammar? Object plus verb plus. It's plus. When, when plus object plus verb. Yes. Thank you very much. If you notice, so we have uh, on the first sentence, uh, subject plus verb. Verb one. When I said verb one, which form is it? Is it the present, the past, or the, or the participle? Present. It's the present. So subject plus verb one plus it plus when plus subject plus verb one. That's that's the thing that I will over there. Um, is this on your worship? I guess I put it or no. The the grammar structure or the word order. Whatever you wanted to call it. Subject plus verb plus is plus one plus subject plus verb. Okay, if it's not there, please take a um, um, write it down. The structure for you not to forget. Continue. Teacher, I, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, what time the verb uh, use uh, in the clause we did and with when? When? A type of verb. Uh, the simple form, verb one. Okay. Uh, uh, the time you use past or present? Which one? This one? Okay. Uh, uh, use the it. Ah, no, it's the present. All of them is use the present. Uh, and when? Uh, the present also. If you notice over there, someone uh, someone talks. A child oh. won. Uh -huh. Food is served. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you had a, an, uh, on the worksheet, you have a, this exercise. Uh, so I will leave it to you uh, to answer and to, to answer the things, to complete the sentences, and we will check tomorrow. The only thing that is almost 10, but I need to see the list. And please help me on something when we get, uh, when I get on, online, See what time is it because we need to have a an hour exactly. Okay. So uh for tomorrow I leave you this one. I love it. I can stand it. It makes me happy. 
it bothers me, it embarrasses me, it really upsets me, I don't like it, it doesn't bother me, and I don't like it, and I don't mind it. So please complete the sentences, and we will see then tomorrow. Let me see. Yes. And we finished the grammar code. So just missing checking. Let me stop the sharing and then uh, read your names real quickly. Thank you very much for using the chat, for uh, uh, being using the chat and uh, participating. The only thing I will suggest you to have the cameras. Okay, group uh, one. Okay. Eh, Carlos Alberto eh, Martinez. Prese, prese, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Claudia Maria Garcia. Present, teacher. Eh, Daniela Mer Mercedes Méndez. Present. Thank you. David Alonso Mejía Flores. Present. Eh, Eda Lisbeth Pineda. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Alexander Villalta. Villafuerte, sorry. Present teacher. Eh, Glendy Lisbeth Flores. Present. Okay. Eh, Isabel Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Isaura. Eh, Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Eh, Luis Fernando Linares. Present. Marco Antonio Quijano Esquivo. Marco Antonio Quijano. Eh, Natalie Rebeca Peña. Natalie. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present teacher. Uh, Raúl Antonio Pérez. Present teacher. Rebeca Jonele Hernández. Present teacher. Rebeca Paola Granados. Eh, Renato Salvador Ramírez. Present teacher. Eh, Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Miss Guardado. And, uh, Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present teacher. Eh, Silvia Tatiana Costa. Okay. I hope that we got the hour. Thank you very much for your participation, guys. A great participation. I felt comfortable today. I think uh, we're on the roll. Okay. So I'll see you tomorrow for a new topic. Good night. And and, uh, and please, well, uh, I would like you to remind you working on the on the on the platform, please. Okay, doing your homework assignments over there. Bye bye. Have a beautiful day. Good night. Thank you. Good night.